everybody! I am really excited to bring you today's video. This is really awesome. <laughs> I had to actually stand back pretty far um, on my unboxing table because this is a really, really huge box, guys. Um, I'll show you that in a little bit. This um, is the Ultimix 4-pack from Capsule Chicks. There are 50-plus pieces inside, four exclusive dolls. With, ultim with ultimate finishes. So um, you're going to have a girl from the Ramrock, a girl from the Sweet Circuits, a girl from the Giga Glam, and a girl from the uh, Control Alt Magic. Now, my, my, only, my understanding is that they're all exclusive to this pack. This is a holographic box. It's really, really cool. Um, I don't know if it's going to be these four girls they're showing all the artwork for, or if these are like ultimates, of like like rare ones to find, because on the bottom here it says something that kind of struck me as odd. It says, uh, which looks will you find? Are there different ones that you can find within these four packs? Or is this just a general boxing that they do? Because on the back here, well it says, uh, build your own mix and match fashion doll. On the back here, it says, uh, on the bottom, it shows um, all these different other ones you can get, which we've already shown on this channel. So it almost it's almost like this is a big, giant prom promo pack. I'm not sure. But uh, the artwork is gorgeous. And let's see, it says... Let style surprise you with capsule chicks. The head-turning cyber stylers who always look unique. Cheek. Enter the future of fashion where every capsule delivers a fresh new addition to your wardrobe. Mix and match pieces to create looks that are truly one of a kind. Let your style run wild. Yeah, these are all like holographic. Really, really, really gorgeous box. So like all the other boxes, it says on the top here, opens a reload. You can reload this and use it over and over again for whatever type of project or, you know, games you want to use it for. Here's your dial right here, and then here's where your dis where it dispenses. So um, I've been in awe that I was actually able to pick this up. Now I picked this up for tar from Target. It was the last one on the shelf, so it kind of made my mind up for me. It retailed. Well, I paid fifty nine ninety nine for this, so it's a bit expensive. But if you do the breakdown for the dolls, you actually are getting a more of a deal because uh, the single dolls are about fourteen to fifteen ninety nine. So yeah, doing the math. You're getting uh, a little bit of a deal if you buy all four of these, if you're going to buy four anyway. And you're getting exclusive ones that wouldn't otherwise be available to you. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this plastic off and I'll come right back. Okay, so the plastic's off and like the other ones, you fold this down. And I think this part is a removable part. Yes, that was a removable part. And then you push this in here and pull out the other one. And let me just let you guys know, these are really, really, this is a really, really, really thick box. Um, this came right out, so I don't know. I, th I thought it was supposed to go down, but it came right out. So we're just going to get rid of that. Still wonder here. This is really cool. Oh, and there is a, um, let's see what this is. I think there's supposed to be some sort of poster that comes with this, and I think this is what this is. So let me unfold it, and I'll come right back, and I'll show you what it looks like. So it's supposed to be a poster, but to me it just looks like, looks like a giant glorified checklist here. I don't know if these are pieces we're going to get in the set here, or if it's a mixture, or... Uh, seek out this season's limited edition look. Are these all the limited edition pieces? Um, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, this is... um uh, Yeah, this is a poster that's... I don't know. We're going to go ahead and take a look and see what we got here. I'm really confused. Because there were pieces on there uh, that I have already, and I know I don't have any limited edition pieces. Oh, this is a thicker box, a thicker dial. Let's see here. Is it going to work good? So our first piece looks like it's from this, um, the uh, Sweet Secrets. Oh, boy. Just to let you guys know, the plastic on these are not as sturdy at all as the uh, other ones. Wow, it's really squishy and cheap. That's kind of disappointing considering how much I paid for this. And I'm wondering how the stands are going to work because they don't have those on the bottom. So interesting. 
Let's uh, let's check out what this first one is here. And the tape will come off pretty easy. So the box was stronger and more decorative. But our inner ones are not. So let's see what's in here. So it looks like it might be actually some... Oh, okay, so oh, here's some legs. So we have legs here. Um, and the legs are just naked, I guess. They're naked legs. And... It looks like we have some sort of... Is this a full outfit? It looks like a skirt. I don't know, it's pretty cool. So I'm going to put this aside because obviously we can't do anything with legs and a skirt. But I'm going to keep it over here in this capsule so that I remember which, which look it came from. I mean, yeah, of course you can do... Uh... Okay. So this one, we have a purple one. So this is going to be for, I think, Giggle Glam? It's purple. Yeah. So the tape's not coming off very easily. I'll be right back. So what do we have in here? Okay, we have a torso top. Okay. So maybe it is going to be this girl that we have on the front here. Let's see if I can get that to focus for me. So this is pretty cool. It's silver. Metallic silver. And then uh, our sleeves are our roses, it looks like. We have metallic silver roses on the, on the base of the sleeve, and then we have a really light, light pinkish white, and then of course we have the signature dial on the back. This is going to be a long video, guys. I should have warned you that. Uh, I should have warned earlier. Okay, here's so here's another one that's going to match our 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 sweet circuits. And let's see what we have in here. Ooh, a lot of pieces that are going to probably get lost by Blaze. So let's see what we have. We have... Uh, come on now. Focus. Doesn't want to. Hmm. Okay. Oh, here she comes. We have... Okay, so we have these really, really cute um, high heels that have uh, nothing wants to focus for me here. We have these really cute high heels that are closed toe in the front, dips down right there, and then if you look in the back of the heel, you have like this princess type heart with a little uh, design up there. These are cute heels. And then here's this purse that looks almost like a perfume bottle. You can see the clasp in it. It doesn't open or anything, but you can see that really cute, um, like a dark lavender bow that's on the top and everything. And then we have the signature watch or bracelet. And, um, yeah, so we're going to put that aside with our sweet circuits here and we're gonna watch for blaze let's do our, our next one here we're we gonna get everything's a little stuffed excuse me guys I am having the worst focus of issues today okay. so this one is going to be from the uh, Alt Magic. Alt. Uh, this one is going to be from the Control Alt Magic collection with that teal blue. And I have no idea what we're going to have in here. Uh, it looks like we have a pair of legs. And these are naked legs too, so pardon the uh, robot nudity. And it looks like. Ah! Gonna focus for me? We have a long A-line skirt here. You can see that it's three colors. You have a division that's... Is that supposed to be like a belt? Let's get a little bit closer here and find that out. If I can... No, it's not. Okay. 
So it's really let's get down here. Maybe it'll maybe it'll focus over here. Okay. So there's a bunch of different colors here. You have the center part that's yellow, like a dark yellow, and then you have light blue, medium blue, purple, pink on both sides. That's a pretty cool skirt. Although it's not fabric like the other one, so but not a letdown. Still wondering how the stand thing is going to work with these cheap little capsules. But let's see. Oh, here's another purple. I think we might have a head here. But I'll just make a little bit of a mental note. Or is it a mental note? Or is it a verbal note? I don't know. That uh, it's in a different type of plastic than all the rest of them have been. Uh, the harder plastic. But we've seen that. We've seen the plaster mi plastic mixes uh, throughout the line already. So I'm pretty sure this is the head. Yes, it's the head. And the stand top. Hmm. Which looks the same as the stand tops that we've gotten before, but I don't understand where. Is there a harder plastic one in here somewhere that's got this is gonna fit in? Hmm. I'm very curious as to how these stands are gonna work, but here's our head for the purple one. For um the Giglam. So there's there's a pretty cute head. Um, you can see, if you can see it all, it kind of has like a pink eyeshadow that kind of fades into like more of a purple eyeshadow. And she has stars in her eyes and she has blue, like a deep blue icing kind of lips. And that's the back of her head. So let's put that aside. And this is her stand top that's transparent. Like they all seem to be. Still curious as to how that's going to work. Okay. Oh, and here's another one of the purple. Let's go with that. And we are back to our soft bags again. Let's see here. This one feels really interesting. Okay. So that looks like it could be a middle, like a skirt part maybe? And here's the feet. So repeating, repeating things say that they're probably all going to be naked legs. And I don't know what this is, but this looks really, really pretty. It's done in that metallic-y, silvery, almost bluish color. And then this piece that could be, I don't know, a neck piece or a waist piece. Not really sure, but this is, uh, you can see that it's purple and almost looks feathery. But I think those are supposed to be leafy. And then the two roses on here that are metallic silver. So that's pretty cool. We're going to put that aside. So we have everything but the hair for this for this fashion. Now I think actually there might be some shoes too coming. Let's see. Oh, here is another one from the Sweet Circuits. And that's hard plastic. And it's the head. So that's weird. The heads all seem to be in the harder plastic. Hmm. Okay, and we have, another, we have another stand. There's nothing in there. Nothing else in there. Okay, and here's the head for Sweet Secret, uh, Sweet Circuits. Uh, nothing too fancy, I guess. Um, well, yeah, if you look kind of close, I don't know if it's going to let me look close. It's going to focus it all for me. You can see that there are two hearts. One on each side of the cheek that are done in a, in a kind of a, a watermelon pink. She has stars in each one of her eyes and they're glazed over in this nice green haze. And her lips are different than the other girl's lips, I believe. They're in like a kissing type pose in pink or maybe a pinkish red. But there's the back. We're going to put this with the rest of her stuff. I can't wait to get these girls built in uh, her stand part. So let's try and see if this focuses. Poor camera. Okay. The poor camera is having a hard time focusing. It doesn't know where it wants to focus. And I'm stuck. I think I got it. There we go. Our next one ooh, is another one from the... Giggle him. 
This must be our accessory pack because it doesn't feel like there's hair in there. Okay. So we have this. Oh, wow. So we have this hard plastic, very, very metallic y blue. I guess you want to call it metallic blue, but it, the actual plastic is metallic blue. We've seen this type of finishing before in this series. It's very sparkly. It's actually hard to get a good focus on. But it's 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 the um, a rose. Like the rest of the outfit seems to be going. And here's the awesome shoes here. So they're closed toe heels. And they're done in this metallic lavender purple color. And on the heels you can see there's a little bit of detail work. That's a, there's a rose on each side. Pretty awesome. And her signature watch bracelet with a little dial on it. So yeah, we're, we got everything for this this one except for the hair. They purposely put the hair for last. Okay. Oh, and out comes another uh, control alt magic piece. We haven't gotten anything from uh, Ramrock, so Ramrock must be stuck at the bottom. Maybe she's like the like ultimate ultimate finishing or something. Just I want to let you guys know I feel fabric in here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna find. Okay, so there's our torso. It's done in this really, really pale light yellow color, and then it looks like, I don't know if that's supposed to be like, like a floral type print, like uh, white that goes over it, or some sort of design, but it's really neat. And then here is the piece here that's fabric. I wonder if it's a hoodie. I don't know, it looks adorable though. Hmm. I'm going to put that with uh, the rest of it. Okay, we're on to our next capsule here. If it's going to come down. I don't think it's going to come down. It's on. I'll give it a little bit of a shake shake. Oh, and we got another Sweet Circuits. Wait, is that all we... Is Sweet Circuits all we needed was uh, the head? I don't know. I think, well, I think we needed a torso for that one. This is going to be our torso. And here is going to be the torso. That's all on. Wow. That's some torso, guys. Look at this torso. Look at the bright colors in this. You get that bright neon. It's like this cool choker necklace that has got a heart in it. It's a bright neon pink. And then you can see those shoulder ruffles that are also bright pink. And then some bright pink highlights on the sleeves that puff out almost like the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. Uh, and you can see that's done in a nice vibrant bright yellow and bright yellow torso. Um, on, and then the heart is done in a bright orange color. We also do have a bracelet and the bracelet's not part of the mold. It's actual separate piece that's already on her, tor her um, arm. So, and she's giving the peace sign with these. This is ador This is an adorable torso. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and put this with that. Is this the sweets? Yeah. So all we're waiting for that one, too, is the hair, I believe. So how about our next one, guys? We'll roll down here. Oh, we finally got a yellow. We finally got our first ram ramrock. And it looks like it's a torso to start out with. Very gorgeous. It's a super dark metallic-y purple, and you can see like there's a diamond in the middle there. And there's a lot of detail work in the torso itself. It's pretty cool. I think it's sleeveless, and these just go up really high. Hmm. Interesting start. We're having such a hard time getting them to come down on this. Alright, I think I got it it up a little bit. No, nothing wants to come down. We're stuck a little bit. Okay, I think I got it this time. Okay. Maybe not. Look like I did. My goodness. Okay. Here we go. All right, we got another yellow one, guys. 
oddly enough, guys, this is the first one we have that's hard plastic. So this must be the uh, stand. I don't know. Maybe they're going in a different direction with it. Maybe they wanted to use less plastic. Maybe people were complaining. Those eco people out there were complaining that there was too much waste by putting giving us too many stand bottoms. But I'm going to guess that the hair are in the hard ones. That's my thought. Let's see if I'm right. Or maybe it's random. Yeah, it's, it's the hair. So we're going to know what the hair is for these after the torso. This is for the ramrock. And the ramrock hair. Oh, wow. There's other pieces to it, too. So it's bright. Oh, there's a little bit of something on that one, too. See that, guys? That might come off, though. Oh. It kind of looks like it's plastic mold. I hope it will come off. Or it could be, um, it could be this purple stuff, the purple that's in here, could have actually, um, leaked onto the hair. But either way, um, the hair is a neon yellow and it's got curls on the bottom and then it has, well, these curls on the top and then we have a little bit of paint detail work that, I can get it to focus here, focus. It's a headpiece that is metallic purple. And then we have these weird wing things here that are metallic purple as well, which I believe bled into the hair. So that's a little bit upsetting, especially with me being a collector and not just playing with these. <sighs> All right. Well, hopefully I'm wrong and it will come right out. It's like some weird smudge, but it doesn't look like it. So moving on. Oh, here is another um, hard one. So this is probably another hair. So this is going to be the hair for the Giga Glam? Where is the tear strip? There it is. Oh yeah, it's heavy too. Be right back, guys. So it looks like... We have, oh wow, look at this hair. It's huge. There's three pieces. Uh, yeah, I think three pieces. So it's like a platinum blonde hair style here. It's going to be in the front. And then this headpiece here that's really, really pretty. Oh man, I can't wait to put this girl together. We're going to keep cranking with the... We're going to keep cranking with the pieces before we put our all our girls together show you what they look like okay we have another yellow which means I think we're gonna see what the uh, legs look like which are probably gonna be bare they all seem to be bare-legged it's not legs guys it's probably a head because of the harder plastic there's our stand and here's our head oh she's winking guys I think this is the first one we've ever gotten that has a wink yes it is do I love the wink it's all right not really a fan of winking dolls very much, but... So, uh, we have a dark purple lip. We have, like, a pinkish purple eyeshadow going on. And if you look really close, you can see that there's a diamond. Uh, either tattoo or makeup done in, like, a pinkish purple color. Right, right below her eye on her cheek. So there's the back of her head. Put this with, the uh, our thing here. Aha. Uh -huh. We have another blue. And this is our gotta be our hair for the blue one. Let's see what our control alt magic girl has for hair. Ooh. Might be my favorite hair, guys. <gasps> I don't even know if you guys can see all that sparkle on camera. Probably not. Maybe if I move. So it, it has this um holographic shine to it. It's white, but it's uh, the finishing is very holographic. And then there's this weird piece here that almost reminds me of the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> or something, I don't know. And then, ooh, look at her. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I can't wait to see this come together. And then, of course, our stand piece. So let's put this over here aside with the other blue pieces. 
and move on to our next one here. We're gonna get the next one. Or we're gonna have to shake it up crazy again. Yeah, this uh, this box is not really good for all the. Oh, here we go. I think I think we have one now. Aha! Same girl we were just working with. Uh, uh, no, it's not the same girl. <laughs> this is a ramrock again. This might be the uh, legs this time. And it looks like we have some fabric in here with our legs as well. That's probably why all the legs have been naked. Ooh. Ooh. The finish on this. Oh, okay. It's not what I thought, but uh, and we have a little bit of paint issue right there. Which is... Oh, no, it's not. It was just a little bit dirty. I'm, I'm excited about that. So, here's a side skirt that's done in that metallic purple. And then, I don't know what this is, but we're going to wait till later to reveal what it is. And there's our legs. So, that's going to go with her. So we're going to put that aside over here. And then we have another one from the same collection. This is probably going to be our, our accessories, because we already have our face, our hair, and our torso. And now our legs. So this is the accessories, so she's going to be ready to build. Uh, I hope this isn't going to end up turning into an hour video, but it might end up being... Um, wow, look at this purse, guys. So you have the, uh, oh! So it's done a metallic pink. Uh, metallic, do I call it metallic or do I call it, yeah, metallic pink. And then you can see the diamond shape in there and the wings that kind of go with the hairstyle, I think. And then you have purple shoes. Oh, they're strappy shoes. And there actually is a little bit of paint detail in there uh, for the diamond that's on the top. And it gave that metallic silver look. Same with the other shoe. And then we have a purple watch or bracelet. Let's see if we can get another one to come through here. There's a couple of them that, a couple of pods that are really, really stuck in here, guys. So here's another one. This is going to be, oh, this is the last one for sweet circuits so that's gonna be our hair for that I have no idea what this is gonna be guys oh look at this hair oh my goodness guys look at this hair so it's it's done in like a ballerina type bun there's other pieces too and um, here's this cool like bow piece here I don't know if it's a bow or a, or a crown or a tiara Uh, let's go ahead and get another crank out here. Okay, I think we have like two more capsules left here. And then we can start building everybody. Okay. This is another blue one from the Control Alt Magic. I think this is going to be our hair. No, I forgot. We just looked at the hair. And <laughs> that's what we were just looking at. This is going to be our accessory pack. What do we have here? So we have this really cool bag here that's... What, what is this shape actually called? I don't know. It's really, really sparkly and it's it's paint. Uh, it's like a metallic-y, teal metallic -y color. It's not painted. It's the actual plastic color. And then here's our cool heel. It's just white, but it's a, it's a high heel sandal type. And then you have the double stars right there. That have that holographic finish as well. They're uh, silver, but they have a little bit of a, you can see, yeah, holographic look to them. And then there's the heel. Isn't it weird? It's almost like a tongue, like a split tongue. Pretty cool. And then, of course, we have a silver version of the bracelet watch. And our last capsule, last capsule we have here, is the the other blue one. So this is going to be our torso, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because we already have our we already have the uh, legs and the hair. Oh, maybe it's the head. Uh, yeah, this is the head. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I can't even know. I've opened so many capsules. I don't know what I've opened at this point. Okay. Um. I, yes, it's the head. And uh, there's more in here. Okay, it's the head and the uh top to the. Stand. 
So let's take a look at our face we got here. Okay, so this face is pretty cool. I get to focus here. You can see those stars, the metallic stars. You got the blue and you got the yellow and then you got the purple up there. And then the lips are two different colors. You got a, a different color uh, top part of the lip than the bottom lip. And the eyeshadow is a light blue and blue glossy eyes with stars in the middle of them. So let's go ahead and get our girls built. Uh, that's our last capsule, I think. That's our last capsule, so we're going to go ahead and build our girls, and I will be right back. So here they are, all four of them together. We have the Ramrock. We have the Sweet Circuits. We have the Giga Glam, and then we have the um, Control-Alt-Magic. Okay. So here, let's get into it now. Do I have a favorite? It's hard to pick because they're all such different styles. I do have a least favorite, though, and I hate to I hate to point out my least favorite first. But it's her, and I'll tell you why. It isn't the outfit. Like, I really, really... This, I really like this piece. I like how there's armholes in it. I like how it's more of a dress than an, uh, than anything. I don't like the, the skirt underneath it. It makes it really bulky, and it doesn't really flatter her figure. Now, I don't know. The other thing is, like, I'm not sure with the deluxe part of this set if uh, if this is just supposed to be two looks for her, if this skirt's supposed to be worn separate from this type of top dress, and you get, like, two different looks. That could be it. Like, that could this skirt could be an extra piece. And I might actually treat it as such. Uh, or this, this top. But, you no, know, if we take the skirt off, she has nothing underneath. But this could be the actual dress. So I don't really know. Either way, uh, yeah, I do like her purse as well. I love that accessory. Her hair is really cute. Um, I'm not really keen on this part. But, uh, yeah, but she's she's a cool look. This girl is absolutely gorgeous to me. I love her head to toe. Uh, she's got that gothic-y, steampunk floral look, which is absolutely gorgeous. You got the grays, you got the purples, and you got the whites in there just mixed right with a little dab of blue. Perfect. She's absolutely gorgeous. I, I love how the the molded on top and the molded on centerpiece flow with the uh, with the uh, fabric skirt, which has two different layers. You have the tool on the top with printed white flowers on it, roses, and then the underneath part, which is missing the seam, and that cut does tee me off a little bit, but uh, it's cut perfectly nice, and you got it's it's a gray ribbony texture. This girl over here reminds me of a hot pink. Uh, she, it it definitely has a, this one has sort of a steampunky feel too, uh, but the hot pink colors, everything is so vibrant. It almost reminds me of something from Alice in Wonderland. Uh, I I kind of posed her like this so you, can, you guys can see how cool those heels are. Uh, I know we already took a closer look at them, but they're so cool. Uh, she's definitely, uh, everything about her is gorgeous to me. And this skirt is, is layers, so many layers. So you have the, uh, purple layer on the top. You have this other, uh, like cupcake-y type, yeah, like a cupcake shell, uh, type texture that goes, um, in that pink. And then here we have some more tulle. It's yellow tulle this time, or, no, more of an orange tulle with yellow and, uh, pink heart designs on the top of it. And then we have that cupcakey design shell on the bottom, and it's she's so gorgeous. She's beautiful. And then you have this girl over here, who has kind of a, I don't know, like a gothic-y vampire bat look, which is gorgeous too. She has this weird skirt underneath that, um, like kind of like the first girl I was talking about. Um, but this one doesn't destroy her figure. It actually flatters her, or it kind of stays the same, but of course, this layer of skirt also has a couple of layers. So there's a few layers of this. I don't really know what kind of fabric this reminds me of. I don't know if anyone remembers Hug a Bunch, but uh, the the sheer type look of this and the feel of it, the touch of it, reminds me of the bows that would come on them and that type of material. So something sort of out of the 80s. And then you have the black tool with uh, black sparkly um, floral designs on them, which is actually really, really cool. 
and then you have those cute uh, platform wedge type Mary Jane style shoes that go underneath. I'm not really sure about this accent for a purse, but I love the purse, so either way. And uh, she has like a bat type uh, tiara that goes on the top and around her. She is gorgeous. And I can actually excuse the wink. The wink doesn't look too bad on the smaller fashion dolls. Overall, uh, for 50 bucks, do I think this was worth it? Yes, absolutely. Um, for the, the price to part range, I don't even know the price to part range, but all I know is that, like I said, uh, each one of these girls individually would have cost me about 15 bucks. So you go 15 times four, uh, do the math there, but, um, and you're getting what they would call ultra rare fabric pieces for each one of them done up more of a higher end quality. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that they're worth the 50 bucks. If you've gotten this set, let me know if you get the same girls as I got, or if they're slightly different in coloration, or even different in, in general. These seem to be the girls that were on the front, by tweaked a little bit. So I'm guessing that they are uh, the same in every, in every package, I'm not really sure. But uh, yeah, let me know if you've gotten these girls and you get you have different ones and uh, in the comments below. Also, which one was your favorite? Now, if I have to pick a favorite out of the... I can't even do it because all three of these girls... I think, that, like I said, my the worst one is this one uh, to me. But, uh, you know, everyone's entitled to their opinion. I think maybe if I take off her shirt or her skirt, I might like her better. But it irritates me that the whole... It looks frumpy. Uh, but here's Blaze. She's checking everything out, too. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. A little bit of a bonus footage. I know it was over, and I know that I said I totally hated this girl, but what I actually didn't like about her is this skirt. This skirt is too puffy. It actually has a built-in butt in it, <laughs> and it's hard, and it took a lot up. So basically, I took it off and put her put this back on. I tried taking this off and, and leaving it in the skirt, but I still didn't like the outfit. It's the skirt that I don't like. Granted, now I have to live with the fact that my girl has no, uh, no bottom on, so she's gonna be a little cold. <laughs> but I think, um, she looks a lot better without that, don't you? Yeah, so, um, yeah. <laughs> That's all.